Hello all. Just trying, trying to get through a light there. I hope you're all doing good. I am on my way to the uh, Mooresville, what, what's it called? Um, business Park? I forget the actual name. I know it's a business park. It was uh, where I used to work when I was on a NASCAR team back in 2009. Um, a NASCAR driver by the name of Jennifer Joe Cobb, female driver, of course, by that name, gets the short end of the stick by NASCAR because she didn't bring in the money. Which is ridiculous, because she's a lot better driver than Danica. Rex less, too. Anywho. We're driving up there. I'm gonna meet her. Hang around the shop a little bit. It's raining. Uh, just, just another one of those days. Been a real slow day, so I was just like, you know what? Let me go. I was supposed to to, uh, to see Brad Keselowski this morning, but I overslept for the wristband to to meet him. I mean, I've already met him. I'm friends with his brother, uh, Brian. So I really don't matter to me. I just wanted to do something for YouTube. But uh, I've never met Jennifer Joe Cobb. She drives in the. Uh, Camping World Truck Series. What are you two? Oh. They're all just jamming on their brakes and I didn't know why. <laughs> uh, she drives a number 10 Chevy in the Camping World Truck Series. Actually, when I went to the race on Friday, you could see her truck in there. It's a number 10, as I said. I know this root, like the back of my hand, every day almost, almost every day, coming there and oh, seeing what else is new on the work on the race car and what I need. I'm about to do something, I swear to God it's not a product placement. Eat Wendy's, it's great. Oh, jeez, here comes the rain. Lovely. It stopped for a good bit. Glad my wipers are pretty decent. So, there's only 14, 14 15 or 14. 15 or 14 days left on the shirts so if you haven't got one but you do want one I'll put the link in the description um, always read the descriptions because they either do a stupid joke or you know have something important written there besides the description of the video you know and the tags and whatnot but there's always something important in there and links to things I'm talking about sometimes and like, uh, when I visited the Texas at the North Carolina Trans Transportation Museum, I, I put in a link about the, uh, a, a couple articles on it, you know, so you can learn more, because Lord knows I wasn't too informative, but I tell what I know. Sometimes I don't know it. Sometimes you learn when I learn. Did not want it to rain this big. It's a real small shop. Real small. Only about three trucks out there. There's a bunch of race cars outside just rotting away. And I'm just like, let me have it. That is a big old storm cloud over there. That looks terrorizing. Pulling 
pulling into the park. When I was a little kid, there was a news article. Well, no, no, no. A breaking news story. No, my brain. I don't know why my brain just did that. A anyway, breaking news story of uh, a NASCAR driver by the name of Ernie Irvin. His house was on fire. And uh, I'm on the road where that house is. That is a ominous looking cloud. Like, if I ever wanted to see a severe thunderstorm looking cloud, this is it. Oh my gosh. It's so dark. There's gonna be a tornado. Doing 55. On his little back road. You really can't see the house because it's covered by uh wow, look at that cloud. By uh trees, but it, this is it. This is alright. You know, slow her down. Back her off, back her off. Pretty mean looking. Lightning is imminent. Imminent. <laughs> All right, left turn. Cause it's racing. Here. There. Right over there is where I used to work. A little. Oh gosh, I wasn't paying attention. Ah, <sighs> Jared Marks. There we go. Let me right over here. Jennifer Joe Cobb's little shop. There's old Jennifer Joe now. <laughs> yep, that's her, all right. These are trucks. <laughs> Brings back a lot of memories. I think I found Waldo. War wagon. That is a very comfortable seat. <laughs> Prior to everything going in. All the templates, everything in there. She's selling a whole bunch of shirts and race used teams, uh, race used team stuff, and she brought everyone cupcakes. <laughs> She's just getting ready. Look at that. That is a very cool decal right there. In memory of the voice, Barney Hall. Hall. Yep, MRN. You know, if we can't can't win a race for you, we can definitely win from a fan standpoint. Because I know our fans are awesome. Um, so we've been in this race shop since 2011, and we rent it. We don't own it, um, but as you can see, we definitely made it ours. And so we're really grateful for the space because it's perfect for us. The truck that is on, question, the truck's not supposed to be here. Ride it over, get it back. I got it. Okay. <laughs> he's got it, he's got it. Uh, say hi to our new crew chief, Tim, over there. Hi, Tim. Hi. 
Nice to meet you, Tim. Uh, and this is Pauline right here. <laughs> um, so we are still getting our team together. This week's a slow week because, thank God, our truck is in one piece, and so it's almost ready for Dover. So we told some nice. of the guys to go take a vacation this week. That's a Dover truck. That's awesome. <laughs> it all helps out. Um, but when we go to the races, we typically have six to eight crew members and then another three to four volunteers that just come and... and help us for free. A lot of them pay their own way to the track. They buy their own NASCAR licenses. Okay. So it's, it's really a, a cool vibe. So our feeling is because these people are doing that, then we like to have fun and treat everyone well. So sure. it's serious. It's a job. And yeah, I might throw a few cuss words out there. It gets tense. But at the end of the day, everybody goes home, you know, just really with an enjoyable experience. So this is our main truck. It's called Johnny Mac, um, named after one of our good friend's fathers. And um, someone came to me the other day and said, how come your trucks are all named after people who have passed away? And it just kind of started with this truck over here, which is Bruce. Bruce is the truck that I finished sixth in at Daytona in 2011. Nice. And it's named after our hauler driver that year that passed away from pancreatic cancer. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of a tribute. We named the truck when he was in, still alive and, and going through hospice and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it was to honor him. And then uh, after he passed away the very next race, we had our first top 10 and only top 10 finish in coming. the series, which is really cool. So um, that's it. Carol, you want to come on up? <laughs> <laughs> She's nervous. Uh, so two race trucks on top. All that equipment gets put in this galleyway here. I mean, you can't walk through it. You can't, you know, don't forget something because you'll be climbing for it. And then it becomes hospitality. Nice what little line for the open house. I would get Got my autographs. Yeah, when I'm like, if you let me get I'll go to my truck. How's that? I'll be fine. Parker? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, I don't think I'm going to go back to the It's so cool. That's going to be the Dover truck. Your crew chief. It's a, it's a good time. Nearly everyone here is going to get a free tire. That's pretty cool. That's cool. So cool. There's the Xfinity cars out there. It's interesting. But yeah, those are all go to the, the fans. So cool. So I'm I've left. Um, as you can tell, I'm wearing something different. I was talking with the new crew chief, tell him about what I was doing, what I used to do in NASCAR. And uh, what I do now as, a, as you know, for work and whatnot. And uh, even with the modifieds. And he asked me if I wanted to work with them. So... I'm very happy. We're gonna, I'm gonna meet him in a couple weeks or so to see about scheduling and come in to help. I'm very, very happy about it. I mean, it'd be really, I mean this is NASCAR now. This isn't, you know. I mean, I, I used to, as I said, I used to work in NASCAR in 2009 and I work on modifieds now. I used to work on modifieds back in Jersey in 2007. So, 
to take my knowledge of racing and, and, and fabricating of the of the cars this is going to be really cool um, Jennifer Jo Cobb is a very very nice lady it was very nice of her to have that it was really great out there um, very small very personal place and I, I'm glad to have spent my time today there um, when I get home, I'm going to have a salad, a nice chicken salad, homemade, because I am hungry. Um, went to Wendy's before, as you know. <laughs> well, that was hours ago. Um, very, very happy. Life is good. Um, you hear the rain. There was a tornado. Remember the black cloud I was talking about, how ominous it looked? There was a tornado. It was in Statesville, North Carolina. It did end up actually hitting a house and collapsing it. Um, which is unfortunate. The people are trapped. So I was listening to the scanner, hoping, hoping people, the, the fire department and whatnot, can get them out of there fast. Um, there was another tornado in Charlotte. It's insane. But, uh, I wish them the best. But I'm very excited. It'd be cool to work with them. It was very nice meeting her. Uh, she's uh, the, she's getting ready for Dover and then Texas with the trucks. So that's great. I mean, the trucks don't have that much of a se season because they, they limited them for some stupid reason when it's the best series out of all of them. But what can you do? NASCAR. This gentleman in front of me needs to step it up a little bit. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video again. Have a wonderful day. I'm very happy. I'll see you very soon.